elaborate explanation and a very good morning to one and all present here. And uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, share with you what are the funding opportunities of uh, the faculty members is having. So since this, this program is mostly for the faculty members, so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to touch upon some of the funding opportunities for the students because if the students is getting some good funding, then it is also good for, for the faculty members also. So as uh, Sarah has mentioned that for the last two days, we have been listening about the opportunities and avenue. But today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you a little bit uh, on the different fundings uh, with the different government agencies are promoting for the faculty as well as for the other individuals and for the startups uh, uh, in the region. And uh, what I'm going to do is because if, if, if I am able to focus on each one of them, it will take a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a glimpse of what are the funding opportunities for the students, for the faculty members at different parts of your entrepreneurship journey. As, because nowadays, due to the uh, recent national education policy where the even the universities and the faculty members, uh, the government is trying to make them uh, start up their own startups and companies. And I will be very happy to know if Manipur University have such policies and programs so that the faculty members, uh, even though they are working as a full-time faculty member, they can also have their own co company with a group of people so that they, they can come up with some innovative idea, which is of unmet need to, to the region and especially to the state of Manipur with the funding office is going to be supported from various funding, including the state government. And, uh, so that you can also come up with some products in the market rather than the, uh, depending on the other products which we are getting. Uh, so as Sarah uh, so this suggested, suggested, so today I'm going to talk uh, on funding opportunities for the innovators and, and the startups. So I consider all of you having a very good innovative idea. Of the only thing is you are not able to know for, what are the funding opportunities with uh, the individuals, the faculty members, and the startup can apply so that you can uh, you can come up with some uh, very good productive. Even though you have a very good idea, if you don't have the financial support, it is very difficult for us to translate into a product or technology. But now the government, the dif different departments of the government is coming up lots of funding, and it is our duty to tap it and to utilize whatever the funding opportunities and. We from the KIT TBI, we are ready to help and support you. And on the coming 10th of October, we have already signed an MOU with the government of Manipur, and we are going to uh, inaugurate the Manipur Technology Innovation Hub, uh, which is around some 10,000 square feet of built up area, and we will be located at Manipur Software Technology Park, just the opposite of the newly uh, constructed central secretary. And so uh, let's see how I can. So if you have any queries or any, any clarification, we can discuss it once the presentation is over. So why do we need the funding? Because as a faculty member or as a student, you might be having uh, lots of uh, innovative idea or an idea which you think that uh, if I can bring this idea to, 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 to the market, it has a potential. So, but in order to bring an idea into a market, you need to do some scientific validation in order to translate that whatever the idea you are thinking is doable or not. So this is why the government is coming up. If you have a very good idea, and since you don't have the financial support or the resources, we, we will support you so that you can translate your innovative idea into a product or technology in the next uh, next two to three years or something like that down the line. So for a lot of grant, it doesn't happen by chance. So I would just like to uh, inform to you this gathering because in order to get a grant, because here around some 50 people are sitting. So if all the 50 people are going to apply for any of the funding, it will be difficult for any of the funding agencies to support all the these particular 50 people's proposals. So they will be using some criteria uh, in order to uh, distinguish the project which they are going to consider for, uh, for uh, providing the fellowship in the form of grant and the project which is not going to be supported. So when we say about the success, including the project submissions and uh, other things, what the people, uh, what the people is uh, uh, seeing is only the superficial. That is the iceberg. That is very famous after the Titanic movie, where the unsinkable Titanic was saying after hitting the iceberg. So what people see is only the superficial. That is the 10 percent of the iceberg which is floating on the water. But what the people are not realizing or not understanding when an individual became a famous is. The different uh, dedication, hard work, the good habits, the number of dis disappointments which they have come across, and the 
disappointment, the sacrifice, the failure, and the persistent effort in order to overcome. So when we see success, it is not a superficial tape part of the iceberg, but it is a complete package of the iceberg. So nowadays, lots of people are going for the shortcut success. But if you want to be a sustained and a long time successful, then we have to be like follow the like the iceberg, which is a of a complete. So therefore, the faculty members and my seniors and juniors. So when you say, you might be thinking that if I want to do a, a work or something like that, what are the funding opportunities? So what I want to share is from the ideas and that is you have written down a piece, you have you have an idea. So uh, one coming from your home or when you go out from this, you will find a number of issues and a problem which we are facing right now. And for each of the issues, there will be a solution will be there. But the solution might take a little time or it may take a longer time, it all depends. But for all of you who are interested uh, to venture into this ecosystem of startups and entrepreneurs, if you can see that uh, there is a lots of funding opportunities in there from the ideas and that is you have an idea of which you have written in a piece of paper. So in order to translate your idea into a proof of concept or a prototype that means if whatever the idea I'm having is doable or not, government is ready to fund you. And these are some of the funds like the SIP or uh, EIR and from the ideas and you have the proof of concept that means you have already established that whatever the idea I'm having, it, it is it can be doable. So for, for the prototype development also, we have the BIC, we have the MSME, and we have the PRIAS grant. And uh, for the prototype, DSD type, MIPI, MIPI, uh, TTP, and other thing, and for the testing and commercialization. So funding is not a problem, but what is the right thing is you have to come with the right intention and with the right uh, uh, work or the right uh, of solution so that whatever the solution you are coming, it, it can be of unmet need to the society and the society can can get benefit from, from whatever the technology you are going to come. So, dear friends, you might be thinking that if I got one funding at any of the uh, states, I may not be funding the later on. But whatever the idea or solution you are coming up is very relevant to the society and is of business potential and is of unmet need to the society, then there is no need of the of funding. So, any faculty member who wants to venture into the startup ecosystem also, you can leverage all the facilities which is provided by the different funding organizations. So I'll be coming one by one for each of you, for the students also, for the faculty members, and for the startup community also. So BIOT is one of the funding agencies uh, which is under the Department of Biotechnology, and it, it stands for Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council. So if you see in the BIOT, the BIOT is supporting a number of uh, funding opportunities, uh, starting with the CITARE grant, which is 15 lakh, to the AC, which is around 700, uh, uh, 700 plus or 7 pros, and whoever is coming with the ideation to the proof of concept, film testing, piloting, validation, and manufacturing and commercialization. So other than the funding, Barrett is also funding the Bangladesh incubators, which are becoming the latest track, right? because in order to translate your work, uh, you need some uh, requirements or support where the, the technology business incubators are playing an uh, important role. And TTBI, uh, we have been in this field for the almost 10 years, and we are helping uh, across the pan in India with a more focus on not eastern part of the country and eastern part of the country. So what, what do you need in order to get the funding, whatever I have mentioned? So you need to identify the problem segment. What is the problem you are trying to solve? Is the problem which you are trying to solve is relevant uh, to, the, to, the, in, uh, to the community or is relevant to which particular sector? It is for the academic sector or is research sector or is in the healthcare sector? So mentorship and access, access to the equipment. So, uh, you might be coming with an idea, but in order to translate your idea into a proof of concept, you need the help and support of different stakeholders like the scientific advisors, the business advisors, because most of us are from the uh, life science background and when we venture into the startup ecosystem, it's all about doing the business, that is selling your product and getting the benefit out of that one. But since we are from the life science background, we don't have the requisite uh, knowledge about how to run a business and how to do the business. So all these information will be uh, provided to you. You need to validate clinical trials or regulatory compliance. So for those of you who are interested uh, to go for this one, uh, drug, device, or 
uh, anything related with uh, for human users or something like that, you need to get lots of approval before your product is launched into the park market, like the CT score, uh, then for the clinical trials and other things. So you need to plan it before you start your work. Uh, partnership, if you have already contacted with some of the industries who are showing interest in your work and they are ready to support it. And connection to the investor, because what if the funding has here, you they have a limited liability, like 50 lakhs, 50 lakhs. But in order to become a successful entrepreneur, the 50 lakhs or the one crore is not sufficient. So what are the next funding, how we are going to generate the next funding? Are we going to look for the venture capitalists or are we going to look for the angel investor or the different sheet and the lead funds which the government is approaching? So in order to have the follow-on funding, you need to connect to the investors because you cannot work you cannot wait for five years in order to get the next release or something like that because uh, if you wait for five years then somebody xyz may have developed the technology and they have already launched into the market and it will severely affect whatever the technology or product you are going to launch into the market so uh, you have to launch the product and you have to follow all these up in order to get the grant so this is the first step uh, uh, for, with lots of the funding agencies has been supporting so this is ideation. So ideation means when you just go out from here, you may you may notice something, some problems, and you want to solve it. So you have written in a piece of paper that this is the problem which the people of Manipur is facing or the Northeast is facing. So so you, you have an idea and you know that this idea if it is is doable, it will be very useful for the society as well as for the people of the region. But in order to translate this idea, if it is going to work or not, or in order to develop a proof of concept that means whatever the idea I'm having is doable, then these are the funding which the government is uh, providing. So this is mostly for the uh, students also. You can you can apply uh, this one. So the, this first thing is, is mostly focused on the individuals and the research scholars who are looking for the other funding. So this is the social innovation and immersion program from the Barrett. And last year, KTBI is the implementing partner of this particular program, and we have selected one student uh, who is from Manipur. And right now, uh, she is undergoing the incubation where they will be uh, providing a problem statement, and they will be coming up with a solution for the problem within the next of 18 months. And per month, they will be getting 50,000 rupees, and after the end of the 18 months, they will be given a five class in order to develop a prototype. So, if anyone is interested, you can visit either. Uh, a pirate website or you can visit TTPI website and you can get all the access and the details information of this form. The second one is the CTRA grant, which is the student innovation for translation and advancements of research exploration. Because nowadays, uh, lots of this one funders, even you apply for the faculties and others, when you apply the research proposal, they are looking for, for something which you can translate up after your research is over. So the students and the friends who are working in, uh, for getting the PhD, also you need to focus that whatever the work I'm going to do under my PhD, it should be relevant to the society after I got some results or something like that. So if you have such kind of things, uh, uh, you can apply this CTRA grant. So it has two grants, one is the CTRA guide, that is the Gandhian Young Technological Innovation Award, uh, 15 awards up to 15 lakhs, and another one is CTRA appreciation grant, residential workshop for this, for, this is for the undergraduate uh, three workshops per year, and they will be uh, provided with 10 students per workshop, but provided a grant support of one lakh kids. So this is what we will be helping and we will be uh, mentoring them. And next one is the encouraging the youth for undertaking innovative research through vibrant acceleration or in short with politics EU work. So the categories of EU work is uh, uh, so if you see the uh, qualifications, so most of the this grants the qualification is basic uh, graduation, it may be science, arts, or commerce. But if you apply as a company, then there is no need for any uh, qualification. So for this EU bar, you have the Barrett Innovation Fellowship, for, this is for PC and above, that is for PC students, and Barrett EU bar Fellows, that is for UG students. So uh, you will be giving a, a fellowship of 50,000 per month and for the post graduate you will be get, getting 30,000 with an innovation grant of two lakhs. And for Manipur University, those faculty members who are looking uh, to support the students who are coming up with, with innovative ideas. So what you can do is you can apply for the EUBA Center for how to get the 
connected by the parent parent center. So you can also leverage that um, if you came to know that in the Manipur University campus, lots of students are coming up with innovative ideas and how because how we can have this that if you can establish the EU center, this is one of the beginning where you, you can uh, you can nurture the the young minds which is coming up uh, with the innovative idea. Then from the DSC, that is the Department of Science and Technology, we have the Lindsay Entrepreneurs and Residents, or in short, we call it as uh, EIR. So any graduate or students who are in the final years of graduation, uh, they, they, they can apply and the fellowship is for 30,000 30, per month, and it is for 12 months and open once in a year for 30 days. So if you see whatever the amount which I am mentioning, the duration is also time bound. That means 12 months or 18 months, and whatever the amount, uh, the duration dimension, you cannot take any extension beyond the depth which dimension. But since due to the last two years, due to the COVID, lots of work cannot be done, so we are providing a maximum extension of, of six months for all the grantees. So, uh, so whatever the amount I'm mentioning, a research, or whatever the research scholars, uh, I'm not uh, exactly directing the research scholar, but whatever the research PhD scholars are getting uh, for doing the PhD research work, whatever the grants I'm mentioning, the grants amounts are much higher than the PhD research work. So you can leverage that one. So uh, for some of the faculty members, some of the students, because this is a central university, you might be get, getting around some 12,000 per month or, 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 for, 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 for enrolling the PhD in Manipur University. So rather than getting that 12,000 and just focusing on some research work, if you can bring up some innovative component and apply for this kind of funding, then it will be a better purpose for, for you and for the faculty members or for the guy who is helping you. So now, whatever I mentioned is for the ideation. That is, you come up with an idea, then you want to develop a proof of concept. So now, what is the next thing is now? I think that whatever the idea I am having is, I know that I have already developed the proof of concept. So now it's doable. So the next step for me is I need to develop a prototype in order to see that whatever the technical specification and the working model uh, I'm going to incorporate in the uh, prototype. So biotechnology mission grant, this is one of the very famous uh, grant throughout the country. So biotechnology mission grants are provided to, anyone can apply, faculty members students and the startups which are less than five years, of, uh, uh, five, five years old. And uh, the good thing about the biotechnology mission grant is the goal is twice in a year. And only thing what all the faculty members, if you want to apply, you need to get a letter of intent, uh, sorry, uh, NOC, that is the no objection certificate from the respective institute. If you're working as a permanent faculty member, and for the research scholars, you don't have to get any 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 such kind of information. And the good thing about this one is, whatever the money, the 50 large fees is going to be provided to you, it will not be coming to the money PUC account or something like that. So, for in order to transfer the account, you have to have to open a lending account where all the monies will be transferred to you in. in different segment like 30, 30, 30, and 10, and you, you, you have freedom to utilize whatever the amount you are asking. So the good thing is that you don't have to have the burden of going and getting the signature from the register or from the finance or office in order to submit your uses and other things. So this is a good opportunity for the faculty members and the students community. And right now, uh, we have the special big NER call, the second call is uh, going on that is specific for the knowledge because whatever I'm mentioning is for the all India, that means the competition is among the all Indian uh, uh, faculty members and the people. But now since Bayek is coming to know that uh, the Northeast people, they might be shy or something like that, they are not coming up with a good number of proposals from all the high states of Northeast. So KTBI requested uh, Bayek if we can have a special call for the Northeast so that because we have a huge natural resources and the future of Indian economy depends on the bioeconomy. And in order to translate the bioeconomy, we need to start working and leveraging and utilizing the resources sustainably. So uh, we, we, we are having a call at the last day for this particular big annual call is the 1st of October. And I, I'm in touch with Dr. Suresh Sir, who is also one of the previous big grantees from Northeast when Sir was working in Nevis. And we are also going to have another uh, special grant making session for the big annual so that if anyone is interested and want to know details about the big annual call, then you, you, you please contact Dr. Suresh and we'll be organizing very sure. So, uh, it, individual students, academicians, scientists, clinical research uh, can apply as a project or as a team or a biotech startup, which is, uh, which is less than five years old, they can apply as, as a company. And the call is twice in a year. This is for the big all India one. And 
Uh, if you ask me what are the things, because sometimes uh, when we conduct such kind of training programs to uh, NITs and other, so since the name is Biotechnology Mission Grant, so most of the NITs, they does not have biotechnology uh, subject in, 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 in their institute. So they were thinking that uh, for all the faculty members can apply. But if you see the themes, agriculture, drug, biosimilars, vaccine, medical device, waste management, industrial biotechnology, bioenergy, artificial intelligence, machine learning, internet of things, and biotechnology. So even though the name is biotechnology mission grant, it is not focused on the biotechnology component. If you're coming up with any one of the team which is mentioned here, and the, the faculty member who are working in NITs and others can also apply where they can select the, the team according to the subject which they, they are going to uh, apply. So anyone is uh, anyone is open to apply for this particular grant. And if you need any help and support, we from the KTBI, uh, we, we will be happy to, to submit a successful application. And once you finish your application, you will be pitching, uh, pitching me. Uh, you will be presenting your presentation in, um, uh, in front of the selection committee for 20 minutes, eight minutes for presentation, and another 12 minutes for question and answer. So that if uh, uh, committee members have any query or clarification about your proposal, they will be uh, they will be asking, and that is how the presentation is all about. So, uh, so if you ask me what kind of project is supported by the big, as I have mentioned, that we are mostly focus on, focusing on entrepreneurs and innovative component technology solutions and hydration space that are novel, market driven, and have societal impact. So these are the, some of the important criteria for the project to be get selected under the big. That means your idea should be novel, so no one has already done it. Market driven, that has a huge scope to, 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 to sell it to the market and have societal impact. Uh, and, uh, the people uh, would get benefit of that one. So when we say about the nobility, lots of people uh, might be think thinking that uh, the nobility is uh, that you have to come with very high standard of novel. But novel means it can be anything. Today we are using the N95 marks, but if you think N95 marks is uh, creating an environmental issues and hazard because it has been reported that the uh, when we throw the N95 mask, it has reached to the bottom of the ocean and it is creating uh, the issues and the problems into the aquatic ecosystem. So if you ask me how uh, we can overcome these challenges, is in the northeast we have huge resources. Uh, I'm just giving you some examples, like we have the bamboo and the banana. So I might come up with an idea to develop an N95 mask which are biodegradable, that means when I use it and throw it, it will just uh, degrade into the nature by mixing into the soil, and which can be cheaper. Uh, cheaper means that what if the marks and an anti marks which people are using, the minimum price will be 10 rupees. But since I'm going to use the local resources and I'm not going to import any of the uh, raw materials from other parts of the country, so whatever the transportation cost I'm going to utilize. So that transportation cost is not required for me because I have to collecting all the resources from the surrounding areas of Infor and Manipur. So can I bring down the cost of the N95 by 2 rupees or 1 rupees? So that means even though the N95 is already in the market, but you are coming up with an innovative idea that for the N95 marks which is available in the market is not bad degradable and it's getting environmental issues. But now I'm trying to come up with an N95 marks which are biodegradable, which are environment friendly, uh, which are prepared by using the local resources. So I'm going to uh, provide uh, some socioeconomic improvement to the local people uh, who are cultivating the bamboo species. And one of the uh, most important things is I'm bringing down the N95 cost by one or two rupees. Mm -hmm. So th this is a kind of innovation what uh, you, you can also come forward. So whatever the things we're using, it might be having lots of issues and problems. So if you can come up with such, so I'm just giving you an example uh, considering the N95. There are, there are lots of thousands of such kind of uh, solutions which we, we need to uh, share with you. So, uh, some of the other components are becoming in my notes as well. So if you are coming with basic and exploratory research, basic and exploratory research is also very important for Dr. Bharat Rajan Sarah has mentioned. But since Bharat is looking for uh, entrepreneurship development, so in the entrepreneurship development, the, the room for the basic and exploratory research is not there because you need to do the you need to do, do the business. So we are not going to support for the big grants and for those students who are undergoing the PhD works and they also apply to the big. So Bayek is not going to support these 50 lives for your uh, PhD research work. So coming to the se selection criteria. Uh, the selection criteria is, uh, uh, they have used five selection criteria. The first one is the unmet need. What is the need of your product or technology to the society? Like what I have mentioned uh, by giving an example of uh, N95 mask. We already have the N95 mask, but 
the, the present NH5 mask is creating social uh, environmental issues and uh, and it's not environment friendly. So if I can develop an N95 mask which are biodegradable in nature, uh, that that will do the uh, that will overcome some of the problems which currently we are facing. The second is the value proposition or the differentiating factor. So they are they are they are all so whatever the proposals you are going to submit, it will be based on the hundred marks and for uh, and for each of the area, uh, for each of the uh, area like the online review and the TV presentation, you will have a cut of marks like what we have in the graduation that if you score more more than sixty, you are in the first division. So every year the cut of marks varies uh, as for the thematic area. So the second is the value proposition or the differentiating factor. Like what just now I mentioned that whatever the N95 marks I'm going to develop, uh, it is going to be biodegradable, it is going to be used by using the natural resources, and it is going to bring down the cost of the N95 marks, which is costing 10 rupees in the local pharmacy by I to be so that there is a uh, decrease in the price of 2 rupees. So these are the differentiating factors which you need to mention. What is the technical viability? Because since it is a 24 months or two years program, so have you already established the methodology or if the 24 months is sufficient for you or whatever the amount we are going to give is 50 lakhs is sufficient for you? So some of the faculty members or some of the students who may come up with a very innovative idea that you you require three years and you are claiming or you are asking for 75 lakhs of rupees. Even though it is very innovative idea, Biot is not going to support that particular idea because it is not under the mandate of the big grant because the big grant is mentioning that we can support you to, to the maximum of 50 lakhs for a duration of your work within the 24 months. But since it is a maximum of 50 lakhs, it's not necessary that I will be asking for 50 lakhs. You can ask for 25 lakhs, 30, 30 lakhs, or 40 lakhs, or whatever the amount is required for you in order to translate your proof of concept into a, a, for your idea into a proof of concept. Mm -hmm. So the next is the team. So uh, Big is, even though it is uh, asking that you can apply as an individual, so Big is looking that after the end of the, this 24 months, you need to form a private limited company so that uh, later on you can start applying for the follow on funding and other, other things. So what they're going to do is, who are the team members who, are, who, who will be working with you in the next 24 months? Do you have the competing uh, people who will be working with you? For example, if, I, if uh, we are from the life science background, and if I want to develop a device, a biomedical device or something like that. Then I need to have a biomedical engineer in, in my team. Then I need to have clinicians in my team who will be supervising me uh, about the different clinical trials which I will be undergoing. Then uh, do you have scientific advisors? Do you have the business advisors? So all they will be looking for so that if you come up with a complete package with all these things, then they will know that, oh, this team has all the essential component of a team and they can be able of doing this particular work within the next 24 months. So you have to come up with a very good uh, uh, team member. When you apply the application, since uh, you might not be having the team members, you haven't identified, you can submit as an inclusion, but later on, if your uh, proposal qualified for the technical expert panel, which is the final presentation, that time you can uh, you can include whatever the manpowers you have already identified. And if you are going to hire some manpowers, you just mentioned that uh, two or three manpowers will be hired once the big run is uh, obtained. And the business perspective. So after the after the 24 months and the 50 lakhs is over, what we're going to do next? Are you going to stop here or are you going further? So what is the stage? Uh, how much time for your product to launch into the market? What are the things you are going to do in the next one or two years? And how much market uh, market share you are going to capture? So all this information you need to give it. And with these five criteria, you are going to convince the selection committee member that within the next of 24 months. I will be able to do the innovative idea of which I'm coming with, and I will try to develop a proof of concept or a prototype within the next 24 months. So this is how we have to convince it, because uh, everything what you're going to say is you haven't done anything, but it is all in the idea stage. But if you have the convincing power, that is what the winners of all the big, uh, big, big, big grant is that one. So role of the big partners. So, uh, if you see, this is the big grant and the pilot. So the role of the pilot is to provide you 50 lakh. That is over. And uh, the big grant So because as an individual or as a faculty member, I don't have the knowledge of, of to become a successful entrepreneur. Then, if when I'm going to do my validation in the next 24 months, then I will be uh, uh, having a number of issues and a problem. Like uh, whatever the methodology I'm using, if it is not working, uh, then I need to look at for some alternatives. Then how to run the business, who are the scientific mentors and all those things. This is where the business incubators are going to come. But 
uh, even though in this state of Manipur, uh, next to Assam, we have the highest number of startups ecosystem in the in, in, in the region. But the problem of our startup is very few of the startups are able to sell their product outside the Manipur, and the rest of the startups are all concentrated in the valley, in Fan Valley, and not able to do the business out of the state. So there are lots of other issues and a problem why such uh, successful startups from the state of Manipur are not able to sell their products outside the Manipur. So, this is where the technology business incubators are going to happen. In Manipur, right now, we don't have any technology business incubators of where a entrepreneurs or a startup, if they go with some problems, uh, and they they need to they need to support it by uh, coming up with a solution. But unfortunately, till now, we, we don't have anything. But uh, very soon, we will be helping you because we are going to start our office very soon. So uh, once you are on, on board, so this uh, technology business incubators is going to provide you with the prototyping and the product development because whatever the instrument you are having in the Manipur industry, that might be all r and research instrument or something like that. So when you want to develop the prototype, the 3D modeling lasers and everything might not be available in the Manipur industry. So you cannot wait for the university to buy that purchase. So you have to keep on working where such kind of infrastructure, especially uh, facilities are available so that you can leverage the opportunity. Business development and customer access, legal licensing and other support. So their friends, in, in, in order to have a successful business, the most important thing is to uh, to file the intellectual property right, uh, which, uh, which prohibit other people uh, to come up with uh, similar products or something like that. Because uh, as we all know that uh, we are very fond of Pepsi and the Coca-Cola, which, which was manufactured for the first time in the United States of America, but during the last 50 or 60 years, they have almost covered the entire crop with this particular business, and none of the country or none of us are not able to identify what is the exact chemical composition of this Pepsi and Coca-Cola. So that is how they are flourishing their business. If anyone of you is able to identify the chemical composition of Pepsi and Coca-Cola, then we can also start a different but the problem is since they have already patented, the process patent, they have already filed it. So no one is able to come uh, identify that one. And if we come up with the same logo or tag, then they will sue to us that you are infringing to our business model and you have to pay the royalty for that one. So when you are going to do the business, you have to think that whatever the things that are coming up, do some body, some people have already uh, filed the patents and all those things, you need to identify that one. Because if somebody has already filed the patent, uh, then it is impossible for you to launch a project into the market because if you try to launch a project into the market, they will say that you are infringing into my intellectual properties and so they will be taking you to the court. So uh, ecosystem connects, fundraising and the business mentoring. So this is how the technology business integrators are going to uh, uh, support you. So this is the selection process. The selection process is once you submit your online application form by 31st of October, uh, the, uh, the, the, the details information which you need to uh, have is you need to have one Indian passport, you need to have the PAN and the other and for the faculty members and the permanent faculty members who are working in any of these institutes, you need to get an NOC from the respective institute. So these are the four important uh, documents which you need to submit it. Other than that one, they are not going to ask anything. Then uh, once the initiative check is over, then it will be sent to the five year reviewers that is like when we submit a journal, it will be uh, sending to the uh, three year reviewers where they are going to see that whatever the uh, manuscript we have, we have we are submitting in a particular journal, journal is fit for publication in that journal. So the uh, five uh, plan peer reviews will be subject to expert. If you are applying in the agri sector, then they will be from the agri sector. And uh, we have also onboarded some of the faculty members working from different parts of the Northeast region because the people of the Northeast region understand the questions more, better than the people who are working from the uh, outside part of the other country. So uh, the 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 plan peer review will be uh, including the Northeast expert. So it will take 30 days. So once you have closed the cutoff score, then you will go for the TV, that is the uh, technical expert panel, as I mentioned. Then uh, finally, the top here also will have the cutoff marks. So if you get about 75 or something like that, up 100, then you have a very high chance that your proposal is going to get funded. But if you are getting less than 50 or 60, then it means that your proposal is not going to be funded. But the good thing about the biotechnology mission grant is, as I mentioned, that the goal is question in a year. So when you you are when you fail in any part, like in the online review or in the TV presentation. Uh, whoever is going to review your work, they will be giving you the comments and the suggestions which is lacking in your proposal. So when you 
when, when you modify or when you incorporate the comments and decisions which is given by the expert review panel, and again, when you submit it again, there is a high chance that because they will know that your proposal has already been reviewed by all of the review comments and whatever the suggestions and comments they have asked, you have already incorporated and you have already uh, uh, incorporated. So if you apply with a maximum of three to four times, uh, and if your project is very innovative, novel, and has a market potential, then there is a high chance of your project getting selected within within the maximum of three big applications. So this is the big twist we have started in 2000, uh, 2021. So uh, the first year, the big uh, NER is only for 20, 25 plus, and the duration is for 24 months. Here, the competition is very less. It, it is for the fan notice. Uh, so we have selected 10 people, so here you can see some of the uh, non fails so we have the guitar story from the Green Biotech, then we have the Lyson Nanshaba, uh, he is basically from Fruit District, so, and uh, these are Melinda's and other things. So, due to the shortage of time, I'm not going to uh, 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 share all the, all the innovative technology that are coming forward, but what I'm going to just share is that Dr. Lyson Nanshaba, he was doing the post at uh, IIT Bharti. So as we all know that the people of Manipur are very fond of eating the fish and the, whatever the local production is not sufficient for to meet the uh, requirement. So we are importing the fish from other parts of the uh, country like from uh, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and the West Bengal. But the problem is since the connectivity and the roadway is not very good. So it has been reported that uh, the fish in order to keep the tissue tender, they are using formalin. Because if you 